Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Enterprise Guide. In the previous lesson, we talked about what is Enterprise Guide. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about importing data into Enterprise Guide. So we're going to open up a new SaaS project. If you don't want to do that, go New, Project, and it'll create this process flow. You can rename the process flow so we can call this Lesson 2, for example. And so let's go ahead and start importing the data. So here I'm going to actually go and select uh, the different data sets, but let's, let's go to, I'm going to go to the, where I've stored my data and I'll provide a link to where you can get these data sets as well. So let's start off with uh, something simple. Let's start with employees, which is a CSV file. So let's double click here. Oh, sorry. I imported the text file. That's fine. Uh, so here we have a text file. So you'll see that it would have opened up the text file within within SAS, but it's not a SAS data set. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click import the data. We're going to go next and then uh, we're going to do a couple things. So feel file contains field names on record one. So the first row is the field names data records start at record row two, which it does because the first row is the field names. You'll see here how we're delimiting in this case, it's tab. Uh, limit the number of records. So if you had a very large data set, then you can limit them. And this is particularly useful if you have a very large data set and you're not sure that you've imported it correctly, you can limit it so you can save some time then then modify the tasks uh, later. Rename columns to comply with SAS naming convention. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then here you can change the format of the values. For example, if I want to change it, let's go output. For example, I want to change the, the output in format to a currency dollar. Let's call it eight. Let's call this two. And then you can change that as well. Uh, I'm not going to deal with any of those ones. And now we have the, the data set here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's do a couple more. Let's go to data. This time, let's click on the employee CSV file and you'll see it's going to be a very similar process. I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker, but we can right click import data. Uh, you'll see it's common delimited. Let's rename the columns. Let's go ahead and finish this. You're going to see, you're going to have the data set as well. Uh, let's do an Excel document. Let's call it trans April and you'll see it automatically went to the import screen. And to find it as Excel workbooklet, you can change it if you want, but in this case it's correct. In this case, we want to import just the trans April worksheet. We'll rename the column first rows field names. If you had a range, you could import those particular range. Uh, in this case, we're not. And you can change the format again as well. As you can see, pretty straightforward. We can also open like SAS data sets. So for example, if I go to servers, I go local, I go libraries and I'll go to SAS help. This will contain a lot of the data sets that we're going to be using in these lessons. So we're going to be using the cars data set and you'll see it's pretty straightforward. We're just opening it and then saving it to our process flow here. And if you've updated these underlying files and you want them to update your, your data sets here, you can click on run and then run lesson two or run project. In this case, they're the same because we only have one process flow and you'll see them highlighted run, change color, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.